Hey queens and kings, welcome back you guys, welcome back, and welcome to all our new queens and kings, I am Valerie, the queen behind this council, sorry if you guys can't see me, I don't have tint on my window, so you know, I'm getting all the glare and everything like that, but hopefully it don't be too bad, um, thank you guys for clicking on this video, or clicking on this vlog here, because you know, I have not vlogged in a long time, so, I just want to tell you guys what's been going on or what's going on with the channel or why I haven't been constantly uploading like I usually do um, every Tuesdays and Friday. Um, all because of my work schedule. I'm on day shift. I work every day except that Thursday and Friday still. Seems like wherever I go, I don't I don't work a Thursday and Friday. No matter what shift, day or night, I don't work a Thursday and Friday. So I'm you know I'm set with that Thursday and Friday. But I'm just getting off work. Speaking of work, just getting off work. I'm about to head to the grocery store. I think I may do a grocery haul with you guys. Um, not sure if I'm going to take you guys inside with me because I really want to get in and get out. But I know how I can be sometime too. Going inside the store, can't get in and get out. Because sister needs some groceries in the house. <laughs> needs some serious groceries in the house. But anyways, um, I'm not able to upload like I want to because of my schedule. And it's because the job is very demanding and it's not like it was the midnight job. The midnight job, I did a whole lot of patrolling. This job here, I'm doing a whole lot of monitoring where I'm sitting to the desk monitoring at least by, let's see, six, eight screens, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's very, very determined. I mean, well, it's a very, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a word to how to describe it. It's very hands-on, so I don't have a time to even edit a video or anything like that. And when I get off work 2 o'clock and stuff, I have to go pick up Andre like soon after I get off work. I think he has to get out of school by 3.30 because he ended up going to school 5.30 in the morning. So my schedule is I get up 4.45 in the morning. Be out the door by 5.30 so I could, or 5.25 so I could drop Andre off to school, leaving his school by 5.30, and I'm at work all day till at least 2 till two o'clock, I believe. Yeah, 2 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. If I ain't got to stay a little bit later, that's why I say if I believe. Um, after that, I'm basically trying to run an hour in between that hour. I give myself an hour because I have to pick Andre up at 3.30. So if you run over that hour, that's fine. I still have a little leeway because, like I said, I have to pick him up at 3.30. So, I don't have the time to really physically sit down now and actually even do a DIY or do any type of video. The last video you guys should have seen for me was the collaboration and that took, like, it took me a minute to even get that video up as in, well, put together. Like, I did a little bit this time, a little bit that time because I don't have the time anymore. I don't have the physically time anymore to do anything as of what I want to do because by the time I get home everybody is home so it's time for me to jump into mother and wifey mode so I try to do it on my Thursdays and Fridays off but during that time there, I got to catch up whatever housework I need to do or you know in appointments up or whatever need to be done and stuff like that so I try to get videos in so I may just at this moment I could just get a handle of it and manage it or whatever manage it, my schedule my work schedule and my life schedule as well as being a full-time youtuber I might just put up a DIY, excuse me, DIY that Friday, and then I try to vlog the rest of the days, and I just upload on that Sunday, because I want to continue pushing out two or three videos as much as I can, three is really scratching it for me, you guys know, even before this schedule was really was scratching it, um, so, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do, but. I gotta figure something out because I miss you guys. I miss you guys so much, so, so, so much, so much. The job, the, everything is hands on where my hands physically going all day, all day because I'm typing all damn day, all day. Um, accepting different phone calls all day where we have the input where people calling it from all over Orlando. So I don't have the physical time that I can actually just have a moment to myself to even try to comment back to you all. I see you guys coming, so I appreciate you guys. I really do appreciate you guys. I just don't be having the time to just physically comment back. So don't, you know what I'm saying, don't use that against me or whatever. I'm going to try to get better at this moment here. Just with this change here, it really threw me off big time. So 
and by the job is so demanding so I don't have the time to physically do that so I'm on my way to go to the grocery store before I pick up Andre it's 209 right now so I have a little nice little tie in between so I will definitely give you guys a grocery haul because I'm not going to take you guys with me. I'm, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. I need to just focus so I can go and get what I need to get and get the heck up out of that store. But yeah. Um. Now with the job, for a minute now, I almost did not have a job. I almost quit. The reason behind that is because of the summer fat. Um, my account manager came in and he was changing the schedule because we was running a whole lot of overtime. So by him, while we run a whole lot of overtime, he was trying to prevent the overtime. But it was going to make people do 12-hour shift. Um, it was going to change their whole schedule around. Like for myself, he was going to bring back another officer, put her back in the spot where basically I took over after she left. He was going to bring her back and give her that. And I told her I can't do no second and third. Uh, no, I quit. <laughs> that was going to be it. That was going to because I can't do second and third. All because of my husband. Dre worked two jobs. Dre worked two jobs. So Dre is really gone most of the time. You know, so I can't leave my 3 and 13 year old home alone. <laughs> it's against the law. And I'm not trying to leave him home just in case somebody be watching. You know, people watch. You don't think people be watching you, but people be watching you. That's how they knew how to steal my damn package off my porch. Because they know me and my husband wasn't there. Nobody was there. And usually when we're in the house, we don't come out the door. So. <laughs> Once we made it in the house, nobody go back outside the door unless it's my husband. But me and the kids, we're in the house. So, yeah, but um, he was changing the schedule, and I had to, you know, basically say I could not work that, you know, which I couldn't. And I was going to be out of a job unless they was going to find me somewhere else. But thank God um, the schedule worked out. It changed back with my schedule. The other two shifts will be changing because we're actually still going to three people got fired so it's like ouch so i don't know it did still change a little bit but we won't be doing a 12 hour shift and my schedule won't be changed so therefore I'm okay queen's key my phone had turned off my phone turned off so y'all could see me a little bit um but what i was saying what was i oh i was talking about the job but everything is working out so far so fine for me it is sad to know that other people is done got fired so ouch but i don't i don't know what to say i don't know what to say but, so yeah that's what's really going on with me so i'm gonna try to give you guys so much as much content i can give you all when i can actually pick up the camera and just physically record or whatever you know my crazy life what goes on with me and the kids and stuff like that you know because it ain't too much going on but yeah okay car move you you get on my nerve you get on my nerve because you don't know what you want to do i could have caught that light messing around with you you over here going five miles i wish i could report people when they drive crazy and give them a ticket citizen ticket <laughs> but yeah um, so that is really what's going on after I think I come from this store. I really don't want to go ahead and go grocery shopping. I really don't, but I need to. I need to. I'm going to go ahead and run into this. I think I'm going to go ahead and run to the grocery store. But now I see home goods, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't need to go in no more stores. I really don't. I don't know. I'll, I'll talk to you guys once I get back into the house. I had got Andre some juice because he needs some more juice. He, he he don't care for nothing but juice. Um, I got a lot of canned goods and stuff in here. Not too many because we don't care for a lot of canned goods. You know, the kids, some chips, some more canned goods, and corn, beans, candy yams. I really like these. I don't like the regular yams. I just like the candy yams because I don't actually know how to make it. So, yeah, that's my cheap way of doing things and my lazy weight also. That's being lazy. So we got some meat over here, which I didn't pick up too much meat because honestly, they didn't have too much meat at that store. So I got some cute steaks, got some seasonal fries. I got some stew beef. I got two of those, but we can go through that. I got some meatballs. My husband liked them. Some ham, ground beef. There's some more meat right here somewhere, y'all. I, I promise you it is. So this is what I'm starting trying to do, start changing my diet. Or the things that I do eat and stuff like that. And trying to stop eating 
after 7 o'clock. Like, don't eat nothing else. You know, just be water, or, you know, fuse of drinks and stuff like that. So, I got a couple different types of salads. The kids, some popcorn. So, any type of snack, junk food, those are for the kids. It really is for the kids. Anything just about healthy eat, that's more for me and my husband. Because I got to get him on board for ordinary for this to work. But... He might get jealous when he see me become real super snatch. Yes, honey, yes. But I got some baby carrots. Kids, some more noodles. Some strawberries. What are those? Mangoes. I'm reading this. Still can't think of. I got the fish for myself because I'm starting baking my fish and stuff. It started frying everything. But, you know, the fried stuff will be for the kids. As well as I got them some ice cream. Some more ice creams. These little um, mozzarella sticks. Um, scroll. Screen cheese. I'm talking about like Got those for the kids and myself. Got them some French toast sticks. Um, those are for me because I ain't started dieting just yet, y'all. You know, it's baby steps, baby steps. <laughs> so I got some of these little pizza rolls things. I got this for myself. I love this red grapefruit. Got that for myself. Some more grapes as well. Um, I got some turkey breasts because I said I'm trying to change some things. Um, cheese, some hot dogs and stuff, two packs of hot dogs, lemon, we got some pork chops here, we got some chicken, because I'm going to really focus on chicken, um, because I don't eat a lot of greenery, as in like, I don't think I really eat is lima beans, green beans, cabbage, and collard greens, I really don't care for any other beans, honestly, fun fact, just FYI, I didn't ever start, I started eating beans once I met my husband. And I think that was like a year or uh, two after me and him was been dating. Because I never did eat beans. My mom would never give me beans because she knew I would never eat it. And I never did. Until, I don't know, he seasoned up some type of way and I enjoyed it. So, that's the only two beans I would eat. Green beans and lima beans. That's it. But, um, anyways, I got a whole bunch of season here that I don't need. But I do need because I got to take my baby steps. So, we got some garlic powder, lemon pepper. I love some lemon pepper. Some meat tenderizer, parsley. We got some more uh, lemon pepper, like I said. Mixed garlic, because I heard garlic is good for just about everything. Then I got some ranch. Um, I got this for the baby carrots, because that's the only way I'm going to eat it. Then I've seen a lot of people use this season here. Say the Creole season, you can use it for everything. So, I'm going to try that. Got this apple cider vinegar, because I'm going to start trying to do the little shots and stuff. Um, I got some great value, um, yogurt. That's what it is, yeah. Child, that is old. <laughs> Did I got some chicken broth, because I'm going to start trying to put my chicken in, because when I make my salads and stuff like that, you know, that's what I'm going to try to do. My little, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. Got a chicken, some honey buns, mostly for Andre, because he would eat them like they going out of style, so I need to help try to change him doing that. I mean, it's a... I'm talking about help him. Lord help me, Jesus. Some more salad dressing. Some cooking oil, vegetable oil, which I need to start changing that oil. But I'm going to take our little baby steps. That's why I got a small bottle. These are for Andre. He likes those because he's very picky eater. So he won't eat everything we cook and stuff like that, which I know that nobody fault but his father. So Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. Corn dogs for the kids. Um, I got some kitchen bouquet. Um, ragu, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Cornbread, child. Who in that like some cornbread? I don't know how I'm gonna let that go, but I'm gonna have to let it go. Hot sauce, ketchup, some mac and cheese, these little butter grits and stuff, so I could take the work because we have a little chef and stuff. So, if I could put some stuff in there, so in case I get hungry, but I know I'm gonna have to let those go too because she told me I have to. Um, what is stuff called? Y'all know what this stuff called. Serb, serb. Oh, uh, let's see. Over here, oh, containers of water. Sneeze. I, now, I do drink a lot of water. I do do that. Now, if I don't do nothing, I do drink a lot of water. So, these cookies for the kids, cookies, some more pies and cookies. A lot of junk food for them. A lot of junk food. I know, y'all. I know. Um, Hunger Jack, cereal, some more of those, some garlic bread. These are for my husband because he like that stuff there. Oh, I'm about to break stuff. Um, dirty kitchen, <laughs> not too bad, but some bread, Dollar Tree bread be the best bread. I don't know, this bread lasts for a long time, it could be past the due date and it still be fresh. I don't know what they do to their bread, it ain't nothing but a dollar, so I will get them, I get them when I go there. 
so to let you know I've been to the Dollar Tree, right? Um, bananas, my baby loves some bananas, which I'm going to have to change that too. She said I can't eat a lot of those, but for right now, until it starts, because I think I'm supposed to start in November. Sugar, bell pepper, cucumbers, because listen, I'm going to show you guys the season in a minute, what I use those cucumbers for. Um, some flour and onion. Now, I'm going to show y'all the season. I'm going to show y'all because this is the best snack in the world. As a matter of fact, I got my lieutenant on it. I'm going to show you guys. I didn't get no more of that season neither. I should have got some more. Because, honey, this, listen, write this down, screenshot it, whatever you want to do. The best snack in the world right here. The best snack. Ranch dressing, this tahini season, which you can find at Walmart. I think they say Windex and 2. In cucumbers, but I think you have to find it on like the um, it's not racist or anything. I like the Spanish owl or something like that. You know the different type season owl. Um, I think that's what I found that at. But honey, this is the bomb. I don't know what they do to it, but it's the bomb. I put it just about on everything, but don't put it on watermelon. Don't do that. That's so nasty, disgusting. But yeah, so this is my grocery haul where I need to put some of this stuff up or put all this stuff up. Don't about to call Jasmine for she to do it. And I'm sure y'all what the refrigerator looking like. Look at this. <sighs> Ain't no grocery in here. None. Oh, I bought some more eggs. So, Jack Muss was putting some stuff up. Some milk and some tea. And she done put some water in there. So, y'all said, it ain't really nothing in here. Look at the top. Mmm. Don't judge me. I got some shrimp. I know how you say it. Some shrimp. Girl, what you been doing? You look like you just came from the bathroom. Look at your pants. Look at them. They pass your belly, but look at your pants. Jesus Christ. So today is Thursday, October the 17th. Now I'm trying to show you guys a quick haul because I have some stuff that I need to show you guys, which I was going to do a separate video, but I decided to put it in this one video and I did go to Home Goods yesterday. Yeah, I went to Home Goods. So I guess I'll start off with Home Goods stuff um, and just go down the line. So the first thing first is these gorgeous little birch candles pots. These here are so pretty. I love them. This is the little rustic. Oh, you can smell the wood. Mm. I wonder if they smell the same too. I wish they had like the little stick in it, the wood stick so they could crackle so it sound like wood burning. But anyways, they was $14.99 for these. And the reason I got this is because I want to do, go back to my rustic. I'm going to do like for Christmas I'm thinking of doing a rustic, glamorous, winter blue Christmas. Since I am changing my house around, changing the colors in my house. So I got those. Also what I got was, I got this blanket here, this throw. I've been looking for one for the longest. It's from Nicole Miller. And it was $39.99. I got a whisper. My husband, I woke up. We be hide too much stuff. You wives know how we do. <laughs> but anyways, I got this as well. I've been looking for one of these for the longer, but they be so pricey. So every time I see one, hmm, what's that on it? I don't know, something got it hard, but I'll get it out. Um, Every time I see one, they be so pricey, so I never do get it. And I always try to catch one on sale, but I never do. So I always wanted one, I always wanted one. I got some little throw pillars that... Similar to this that I got from Ross, but not quite as much, but I love it. I love it. I think it's Coyote, if I'm not mistaken. It is so soft, so soft. And it was $39.99. <laughs> but it was another thing I ran across now. This gorgeous hill, this pillow. Look how big this pillow is, y'all. So, it's so huge, so huge. And it was $29.99. So, I did see one of my YouTube sister, Kels, that she had got one, I think sometime last year. And she cut hers in half. And by the price on this, you know, it got a zipper as well. I didn't know that. 
Oh, so that means I can take this thing. Is that a zipper? Yeah, that's a zipper. So that means I can take this out. Oh, okay, cool. Because I thought it just had some stuffing in it. It's so soft. Okay, okay. So I got a big old pillow that I could take out of there. And I could use that pillow. But I'm going to cut this in half as well. I don't know if it's the same one that she had or whatever. But I seen her do that, which that was a, a genius idea. Because this is $30 for one pillow. So I could get two for the price of one. Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> so I got those. I got the candles. Now, I also picked up the stuff from Marsha. Not Marsha. Michaels. The Michaels I went to was going out of sale, going out of business, and I picked up these little woods here. Um, like I said, you guys know I love the little rusted look, so therefore I'm going to bring my rusted back. I really love my rustic lamb, and I think these was on sale. Um, I got these no more than $5 each, I believe. I don't think it was $5, honest. So I picked up two of them. I think I'm going to get some knobs to put up on the bottom, make one like a stand or so. I don't know. Just an idea to throw out there, but... I'm going to use these as my little trays on my coffee table, probably in the kitchen. I don't know just yet, but don't quote me on it. Now, these velvet pumpkins here, look how gorgeous these are. Now, these wasn't on sale. Um, yes, they was. I think 40% off the regular price is $20 for these. And I don't know what the price was afterwards. I paid it. Got a discount. But I got two of them. I got one on my side table over there right now. I like it, but I don't like it. But I love these pumpkins, though. I love these. So I got two. I don't know why I needed two, but I got two. So I got those. Also, I got some flowers for them. I'm going to show you the flowers. Now, it was these navy blue flowers. You guys know that I'm doing the navy blue now. So I'm into the navy blue. So I try to do pops of it around the house. But I love these. These was like 40 or 50% off for these. I'm not sure. But I have them in my little vases here, my gallery dupe. Now, this medium one here came from Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, I do have the small one in my kitchen, and I have the large one on the side table over there. I'm not sure. Just got the little pops of blue roses in it. But I think I want to go back to Michael's and get some more of these if I could find them. But these are so pretty, and I just have it, this one here, on my console table. But these will have these, so I got three of them. We're going to go to... TJ Maxx. Now, TJ Maxx, I ordered these offline when they had free shipping because I didn't want to pay the shipping for it. And for some reason, they won't let you ship to the store and pick up so it could be free. But I don't know why not. But I got these gorgeous bookends. Y'all, look how pretty these are. Look, Y'all don't look at miraculous nails. I know they need to be done. But these are so gorgeous. Look how gorgeous these are. And these was... $24.99 for two. So that was good. That was good. I don't need any more bookings, but I just had to get them because I have the candles and everything. So that's why I had to get them. Now, what else I got from... Oh. These here. These little decorative glasses. A lot of... Some everybody doing them. Or some people doing DIYs and everything. Sometimes you just don't want to do a DIY on things. I'm here to tell you guys. I know. I know. I just said it out my mouth. But sometimes you don't want to do a DIY on everything. If you have the time and patience, do it. I guess I'm saying that because I don't have the time right now to do it. So, yeah. But I ordered these as well as with the TJ Maxx. Now, my order came up to like $40 and some change. Those bookends, um, what are they, $24.99? So, it's $25. We round that off. These was like $12.99 each. I say each because they sent me a second one. Now, I think the reason why they end up sending me a second one because they came in this box right here. And this is the actually shipping package box that was sent to TJ Maxx. You see on it, it don't have like a number to say how many in the box. So whoever packaged must thought that it was just one in the box. And they shipped the box itself. And two came in there. So I got a price for two for one, which that was lovely. That was lucky. So... Thank you, TJ Maxx. I love that. So, I think I'll put one in here in the dining room. Not the dining room. What is this thing called? The living room. And one in Jasmine room. So, that was nice. Now, I did get some stuff from Amazon as well. Now, first thing I'm going to talk about Amazon is my curtains in my dining room. I love those curtains. I was looking for some curtains as a pair for the price. Because I found some other blue ones, if I'm not mistaken, I think. Uh, yeah, she do have them. Um, Sharon has them in her home. 
some balloons. I ran across them, but it was like fifty dollars for one pound. I was like, okay, I don't want to spend a hundred dollars for some curtains. Then you know my mind moves change so much. So I found these two here, these blue ones here, and I love them. They actually have roses on them, and they are not white, but it's more of the cream, which is an awesome thing for me because that's more of what I'm going for the living room area. The dark gray, charcoal gray, because a lot of people think my sofa is brown and stuff like, but no, it's a charcoal gray, so that's the darkest gray. Um, silver and white, blue, and creams. That's what I'm going for. So, if I have these curtains in the kitchen, not the kitchen, the dining room, I love them. The curtains was, they are 84 inch long. And by, they not as long as the sheer curtains that I have there that I got from Tuesday morning. I added some navy blue fabric on the bottom of them. So, therefore, they can be longer as I want them to be. But I did flip them upside down because they were like garment curtains. So, you know, where the, the curtain rods slide through the actually curtains. So, therefore, you don't see that part there. You call yourself sneaking by? Really? All right, bow leg. All right. But, um, so I flipped them upside down and added the navy blue on them. So, therefore, they could be actually longer. So... The part with the pole going through now is actually the bottom of the curtain. So, I like that look more than anything. So, now, moving on to some more blues. My, um, what do you call it? A tapestry? I don't know. Nickel, Nickel and Diney actually uploaded a DIY on this. And I remember she did it a year ago. So, when I was looking for some blue and white artwork, because I didn't want to go over my teal artwork, that canvas that I got from Burlington years ago so I was looking for something to go over I was looking for another picture and ran across this though what she had so I went back on her channel to look for it to see what the actual name was it and she made a DIY out of it she made some canvas for her wall with this and which I thought this was going to be great because of the simple fact it resembles the, cur it resembles the curtains like I don't know the, the style and the, the brush strokes and everything of the flowers or whatever. So I'm gonna use this to cover my camera, my canvas that's over my sofa right now to take the teal out and put the blue in. And this was only eleven eighty eight, so it's very affordable to do. And it's gonna be simple and easy. So I'm hopeful I can just show you guys that. But I'm gonna link link her video down below how she did hers and her channel so you guys go support her because her home is very gorgeous. She has some beautiful few beautiful stuff um, in her home. So and she have navy blue going on in her home. But I want you guys to let her know that I sent you over there. So therefore support her, support her, support her, and let her know I sent you. But anyways, the next thing oh that I got from Amazon was these here. These are some wall pendant lamps which is 15 feet white two pack and I got these for to go over my breakfast bar you guys seen the DIY that I did for Halloween with the skulls to make the pendant lights I'm gonna do the same thing with these though but I'm gonna use my um I'm gonna show you I'm gonna use these little globes here that I got from Lowe's. Now these was expensive. I think these was $20 for one. But I'm going to use these here to hang it over my pendant light. So I got to get it fixed up some kind of way. I don't know how. I guess I could use my husband's help. I thought he was going to say something. No, he quit to say he won't help me. So what else I did get was some more crystals because I have this old lampshade that I'm going to use to put it in my living room to make a chandelier but I'm gonna make it flush to the wall as best as I can I don't know how I'm gonna get it to do it but we'll figure it out so I got these crystals as well just to hang on them you guys know I love these and I will link these down below because so many of you guys be asking me every time about these so I will link them down below these here these beauties here girl I think I'll make a necklace no, that ain't gonna work. 
Okay, that ain't gonna work. So, last thing but not least is, oh, my rug that I'm using in my kitchen for, yeah, I'm using it in my kitchen, but I have purchased it to go on my dining room table, but it, it's not gonna do how I want it to actually do, so it's gonna be too big, because I know the dining room table is not that big. So, I'm using it in the kitchen, and I'm gonna put it in my little furry rug, which match my Z Gallery throw. So, I'm gonna show you guys. Here it is. This little gorgeous rug. I got this from Amazon too, as well. I think it was no more than thirty dollars. And it's so pretty, like the, the washing it out, but it's real pretty. That's gonna be it, Queens and King, for this little vlog here. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this vlog for the couple days type vlog, so therefore I can know because of my schedule. Like I said once again, I probably won't be able to put a DIY or anything else up until. Probably just that Friday, so I may not be able to upload on Tuesday. Depending if I can just squeeze the time in or what type of DIY is going to be or whatever. That I maybe I could put it up for Tuesday and still be able to give you guys that Friday video. And give you some vlogness going on as well. So, I hope you Queens and Kings enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new, just stopping by. Y'all, why won't y'all just go on and subscribe? You know you like my content. You love what I do. You love what I put out here. So just go ahead and subscribe. Because there's a lot of people who that is not actually subscribed. Do be watching. Do First, let's go back. Where is all my um supporters at? Like, seriously. I got over almost 23,000 supporters. I know 23,000 don't watch. I know 23,000 don't come for the same fame, though. But come on. Like, come on. Y'all come through. Peek through. Say hi. Something. You know. Let me know what was the reason why you subscribed to the um, castle. Something. But anyways, I will talk to you all in the next. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.